Hi Year 14. In this video I'm going to try and look at working with images within your database. Now if I start looking at the my actual database, uh, in the table make sure you put in a, an attribute for your image and the data type is the binary large object. If I look at my actual data you can see here that I have inserted images into this attribute. In order to do that in DB Lite there's an option over here to import from file. You'll note that all my images are different sizes. I'll handle that in, in the processing. So it's just if I click in here, I can select what image I want, add it, make sure you hit apply and write your changes. And that's the images inserted as a raw binary object into it. Now we've got to look at how we're going to handle that within our interface. So bear with me because I'm going to look at uh, how I've used it within the database. And I've created something called a shopping widget. Uh, my images, if I just look at, say, here, I'm retrieving the images from the database and rendering them on a button. This entire widget, I've created a custom widget called a shopping cart widget. It's just a simple title, a button with the image, a description, and then a spin box widget. So I'm going to look at that. So first of all, uh, using my database class, I'm selecting everything. I've got an array that selects everything from my stock table because that would be used within this class. Before you can do this, you will need to pip install pillow. And I'm using a library called bytes.io that's going to handle the reading of the binary large object and then be able to render it. So make sure you've got those two image, those two libraries installed, Pillow uh, and IO. Now, this is where it gets a wee bit tricky. I need to be able to get the picture from my database. So in my database class, I've written a simple method that I'm gonna pass in an ID number. It's going to select the images from that table where I get that ID and it's just going to return it fetch one and I'm returning the zero element in that array that'll just be the raw binary string I see that will be returned from this query so what am I doing I am calling that method and I'm passing in the ID and in this case it's coming from data zero which is going to be passed into the shopping cart widget whatever element is read into the shopping cart widget the first element obviously is going to be the id so that's going to render what that will return is a large binary string then i'm passing that into the bytes io method which is going to interpret that and read it that's going to look after all the conversions for me and i'm passing that in turn into the pillow image.open method so what I have is a class variable called render and it's going to be an image. Then here I'm looking after my resizing. I'm using the render method, the render.resize method. Sorry, the resize method from the image library. And you can see here I'm passing this. I'm overwriting and I'm reassigning a rendered uh, resized onto this render. There's the parameters for the size of the image and I want it anti-layered. And then finally my image that I'm going to use is the pillow of this. So there was three things to do there to read in the raw image, to look after the resizing of it and then to create the image. Next is looking at how I've used the same methods within the, the, the products table. So if you look at this interface for products, when this is instantiated, I've just got a blank label. All this is a Tkinter label widget. I've put a border into it. But when I click on an ad item in the three view, it's going to retrieve all that information from the database. And it's going to get the use the same method to get the picture and render it and insert it or reconfigure this image label. So if we look at the programming for that, uh, 
Right, so when I'm creating this class for my products, all I've got is very simple uh, label where I'm going to place it. Mightn't be the nicest way I do it. I'll probably refactor that, get rid of the border, etc. It's just to make it stand out few. But anyway, so I've got a simple Kinter label widget here. And on my populate method, Am I? Here we go here, it's the same. So in the populate the widget, that basically means we've done this last year, that when you click on an ent an entry in the tree view, it's going to update the, the, the widgets. And here we go again, I'm just making the connection to the database. I'm using this method that we looked at in the database class here. Pass in an ID, select the image and return it. And the same piece of code. The only difference here is I've changed the parameters for the size. This idea that a class variable called render is going to have an image, resize it, force it into a pillow image, and then reconfigure the label. I will post the some of those code snippets, but look folks, it's going to be different for all of you depending how you set up your tkinder windows. But try and get an instance of images within your, your database. Good luck.